How are we doing guys? Welcome to ST Fitness. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I'm going to be talking about meditation and how important meditation actually is, especially if you're going through some sort of mental health problem such as anxiety or depression. Um, statistics are saying now that one in three people will actually go uh, suffer with mental illness one point in their life and that is absolutely shocking um, and these statist statistics are going higher and higher every single day especially with all these social media platforms that are going on we're comparing our lives to other people and we're just more apart as a society as a society as a, as a society as a, is that what I say right a society we're more we're, we are more apart Fucking hell. Basically, I'm trying to say that we're more apart from people now when we don't see people anymore because we're always in the house on our phones. So yeah, guys, mental health is going straight through the roof and we need to find strategies to overcome these situations. So meditation is exactly what we're going to be speaking about today. So stay tuned. So guys, I just did a few tongue twisters then. I'm gonna try not get my words mumbled up anymore. So what we're gonna be talking about, obviously, like we said, meditation. What is meditation? And when I've talked to people in the past about meditation, they always assume it's this crossing your legs and hands in the air. They always believe it's that sort of thing. But seriously, guys, it is not at all. Literally, meditation can be, oh, you bastard. So what is meditation? This is how I would actually explain it. I believe it's like a mindfulness technique where we get into like a comfy position where we're nice and relaxed, close our eyes and either focus on a particular thought or we could focus on clearing the mind and trying to get mentally and emotionally re uh, relaxed. So that's how I would explain meditation. So I'm gonna talk about my experience with meditation and how I started it all off. I was, I remember I was 16 years old and I was, uh, no sorry, I was 17 years old and I started doing my driving lessons and I just wasn't focused. Um, I was getting in the car, I just felt myself unfocused all the time. So I think I googled something like how to become more focused and meditation was the first one there and I, now I totally understand why it was the first one there. So. I remember starting it off, no big deal, just put some nice music on and just relaxed a bit. Every time I did that before a lesson, I was always focused and I always did a good lesson after it. So I kind of sticked to doing that. And in the end, I stopped doing my lessons at the time. So I stopped meditating. Um, and then I went a few years without meditating. Um, so I, hit, I think I hit about 21, 22, I suffered with my first anxiety attack. And I've already made a video on anxiety attacks and my experience with anxiety attacks. So I'm not gonna go into do too much detail with that, but yeah, I started going through anxiety attacks and it was absolutely awful. And I had I uh, didn't know what to do. I always had doctors throwing meds at me, which I refused to take because I don't believe in them type of medications. That's just me. But I didn't end up taking them and I tried to look at my own way of solving it. Um, and a doctor actually advised meditation. And when he said it to me, I thought, you know what? It did actually really help me when I was going, when I was doing my lessons, when I was 16 maybe it will help me now and when I started meditating I started feeling better and better and better after a week of like meditating about two three days a, a times a day for about a week I've not had an anxiety attack since and I am 24 coming up to 25 now um, and I've not 
had an anxiety attack since because and ever since then i've always had a meditation routine and just constantly meditated throughout and it is really really good guys like if anyone came up to me telling me they are going through depression they're going through anxiety or any type of mental health issue the first thing i'll always say is how often do you meditate and most of the time it's not and there's been people in the past where i've advised meditation to and they have contacted me a few days later saying it's actually making such a good impact on their lives so guys that is my experience of meditation um, it has really helped me out over probably for the past few years my head would have been all over the place if I was in meditation and I don't think I would be at a place where I am now without it. It does really help you out a lot but the benefits are literally endless. Um, it impacts people in different ways, there's so many different types of meditation. Um, I've tried quite a few different ones and my, my type of meditation is normally just sitting back putting music on and just focus on clearing my mind a good way to imagine what meditation is is i imagine a good day in my mind is a blue sky day and if my mind is still i've got nothing worrying me that's a blue sky and if i've got one of them days where i'm worried i'm anxious i've got loads of thoughts going on and i can't control my thoughts i imagine that there's a black cloud over that blue sky and there's just rain pouring down so when we come to meditate um, and take our time to relax our body and clear our mind, that cloud slowly goes away, the rain slowly goes away, and then until I can see that blue sky again, and then that will relax my body. But like I said, guys, there's so many different strategies. Uh, mind space, I think that's what it's called, or head space, that's a really good app to start on because that also has guided meditations as well, which are great. I've done hypnosis meditations, guided meditations, uh, transcendental meditations, humming meditations. I've tried quite a lot um, and I have my own personal, my own type of meditation, which I'll probably do another video on. But literally guys, the benefits are endless and I cannot stress it enough. If you are feeling depressed and down, if you are anxious, you may have social anxiety, anything like that, just practice meditation. It's not gonna work straight away because your brain is so used to negative thinking, um, worrying. So when you start doing this, it might be a bit hard, but consistency is key. Seriously, just keep on going with it. Don't give up on it. And then I promise you, 100% promise you, after a few days, you will start to feel a little bit better. And the more you do it, and the more you do it, the more better you will feel. And I just wanted to send this message out because I don't feel like people are meditating enough because it is such a brilliant way of controlling your mind, calming yourself down, especially in the world that we're living in now. So I just wanted to share that message with you guys. I've been meditating for a few years now and I just hope that people will start probably doing it a bit more, especially anxious people or people that may be going through depression. It's not gonna cure it, but it's the first step of getting your mind calmer and starting to feel better in yourself. So any questions at all, guys, just please message me on Facebook or leave a comment down below. And I just wanna thank you all so much for watching. I hope this has helped. If it just helps that one person, I am absolutely happy. And as always, guys, stay strong.